welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Yvonne, and this channel is all about fashion, beauty, etiquette, and everything to help bring out the queen in you. So in today's video, you're going to get ready with me to go to the theater. So my mom is in town, we are going to dinner, and then we are going to the Kennedy Center to see Alvin Ailey. The Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater is an iconic, world-renowned dance company from New York City. They began in the 1950s and they are just epic in the black community. Um, they are going on tour again for the first time since the pandemic hit and I'm super excited to go to the Kennedy Center and enjoy this evening. I've been twice already so if you ever get a chance to see Alvin Ailey um, in your town you should definitely go. It is a life-changing experience. So if you want to know how I achieved this makeup look and this hair look for the theater tonight, stick around. So as always, I'm starting out on a freshly washed face. I just have a little bit of lip balm on. And I'm gonna start first with skincare. So I'm using my Clarins Double Serum to help give a little extra hydration since it's very frigid and cold out. And this just brings a lot of moisture back to my face. And then a little moisturizer. And then I'm going to use my Multi-Active U Eye Cream, also from Clarins, just to moisturize my eyes since I'm gonna do an eye makeup. Next, I'm gonna go in with my, with a mattifying primer. So I know I moisturized my face, but now I want to just go into my T-zone and take a little bit of the shine away from my T-zone because that's um, my oily area and I know it's gonna get oily over the course of the evening. So just right here in my T-zone. I'm gonna start with covering up my dark marks and my imperfections. So I'm gonna use my NARS Creamy Concealer for that, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I like to do that before my foundation so that it blends in. For my foundation, I'm going back to the basics with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I'm just gonna put a very light coverage just because I like to focus more on my skincare. Now that the brows are done, I'm gonna move to the eyes. So before I start my eyeshadow, I'm going to use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm so excited to go to the theater tonight. Uh, my mom is in town. And a fun fact about me is that I really consider myself like a Renaissance woman. I just love everything, art, history, culture, you know, anything black. The Nubian by Juvia's Place. And I'm just gonna use like a brown, medium brown shade for my transition color. So the look I'm going for is like a soft, smoky eye look. Um, I'm wearing a black dress, uh, so I think that will complement it well. So smoky, but not like too overly dramatic. And I've showed you guys this technique before, but I'm going to apply my eyeliner and then smudge it out to help build the smoky eye look. I'm just gonna take a small smudge brush and just smudge that out. So the next color I'm gonna use is from this NARS Dolce Vita Unwrapped Mini Eyeshadow Palette. I got over the holidays. I'm gonna use this taupey color right here. I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. And you can really just pat that right on top of the eyeliner. I 
Okay. So that's not giving as much depth as I thought it would. So I'm now I'm gonna go into my Naked, um, Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette, which I think is kind of old. I'm not sure if they still make this. And I'm going to use the color Smolder, which is like this dark purpley. And I'm going to put that right into the outer corner just to add a little bit more depth. Adding that right on top of the liner. Okay. So now we're just gonna add a little bit of sparkle since we're going to the theater. And I'm loving this color um, back in the NARS palette. Right here in the corner, it's like a sparkly, beautiful, like rosy champagne color. I'm just gonna put that right in the center. and the inner tear duct area too. We're actually going to dinner first at a restaurant called True Lux, which is a fine dining seafood restaurant in the city. And I've been there before, I love it, love fine dining. I'm actually going to post a video soon about dining etiquette. So etiquette is another one of the things that I'm really passionate about. And I'm gonna have a new video that's coming out, so stay tuned about dining etiquette. So just, you know, giving you some tips or refreshing your memory on what's elegant and proper when you're going to a fine dining restaurant. So it'll be a good refresher um, from your, you know, charm school or debutante days. And if it's something that's new information for you as well. You can always use it when you're going to, you know, a date night or maybe a lunch job interview. Those are the type of places that you can really use your dining etiquette information. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so next I'm going to highlight my under eye with the NARS concealer again. And this is also gonna be the opportunity for me to clean up my eyeshadow look. So here I'm just taking the concealer up a little bit to create an illusion of a lifted look. Now I'm gonna set that concealer with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and the color Honey. I'm gonna put a little bit in my T-zone. And then also to set my mouth area. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Sephora bronzer. Of course, to give some definition. For blush, I'm going with my Glow Wish by Huda Beauty, which is also in Charming Cherry. And I'm gonna go pretty light on the blush. And I think I'm gonna focus more on this marbled side, just because I want a little rosy cheek, but not too defined. Okay, so that's it for blush. For highlight, of course, my MAC Iridescent Loose Powder. My mom's done her makeup, so she's gonna come say hi. Just be here to say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, you look cute. <laughs> you ready to go? I'm gonna put on a little setting spray. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this sparkly color in my inner tear duct. I'm gonna go back in with Smolder and just do a little underneath my eyes. The 
the transition color as well. Well, a lot of mascara because I'm not gonna wear a lash. Well, I also failed to point out that this is a still shot from an Alvin Ailey dance piece called Revelations, which is their most iconic piece of work. And it's probably the most widely seen ballet um, in the country, maybe even the world, because they perform it every time they perform and it's just a beautiful depiction of, you know, black struggle and triumph and joy um, and perseverance. I just really, really love Revelations. And if you ever get a chance to see Alvin Ailey, you will truly be blessed by it. So let's do a quick lippy. I'm gonna go for a nude lip since we did kind of a soft, um, smoky eye look. I'm gonna go with um, this Sephora cream lip stain, it's number 23. But it's like a mauve nude kind of color. And then I'm going to line my lips, of course, with NYX lip liner in the color dark brown. And I already have a little lip balm on. I'm going heavy on the lip liner because I'm gonna put the lip stain right on top. I really love these Sephora cream lip stains because they're very comfortable to wear. Uh, they last a long time and they're not drying. And they're affordable. So that's a matte lip, but I think I'm gonna top it with a gloss. Fenty Glow. I'm just gonna add a little gloss to match my, my glittery eyeshadow. And that's it. So I'm going to do my hair off camera and then I'll come back with the final look. Okay, so I'm back with the final look. Um, I decided to put my hair up for the theater just because it's a little bit more of a formal vibe. Um, I have faux locks in right now, but um, I think that even though faux locks can be a more relaxed, protective style, you can still elevate the look by just putting them up. So what I did was I put half of it up into a bun. I left out the front section to try to create a swoop effect. And so when I left the front section out, I took it and I sort of wrapped it around the bun at the top to create almost like a French roll kind of effect. But I think it just looks very elegant. For my outfit, I decided to go with a black, almost midaxi length. So it's sort of longer than a midi, but not quite a maxi length dress um, with a beautiful crisscross detail in the front and a keyhole effect right at the abdomen area just to give a little bit of skin, but not too much because it is super cold outside. But it's a long sleeve dress, um, a long dress, and then I paired it with a beautiful leather boot because they are weather appropriate and they're easy for me to get around in the city. And then I decided to go with these beautiful drop earrings. I love the different texture and colors that they're giving. They have a gold section at the top and then they have a beautiful um, black and white print stone in the middle and then a colorful stone at the bottom. So I thought they would just be perfect for, you know, February, which is Black History Month. They sort of give a tribal feel, which I think are just perfect for the occasion. And I also decided to go with this gorgeous gold bracelet. And then also, of course, paired my black YSL clutch with the gold details because it also brings out 
the gold in the other accessories that I'm wearing. For my outerwear, I'm going to top the look with a beautiful faux fur cape. Of course, fur is gonna keep you warm um, in these cold temperatures, but it also elevates the look by giving it more of an elegant kind of grand feel for the theater. So I'm really excited. We are getting ready to leave now to head to the theater and hopefully I'll be able to get some footage from dinner and also the inside of the gorgeous, gorgeous Kennedy Center and give you guys a little mini vlog. So stay tuned.